Good morning, laborers. Glad to have you aboard the labor love train. You don't have to be a labor to be on the labor love train. If you feel you're drawn to this channel, it very well could be that this is your reading. You might want to give it a chance. This is a singles reading. We're going to discover what the person that's in your energy is thinking and feeling. They're obsessed. I think I'm obsessed with you. I think about you all the time. I stalk your social media and I hope I run into you when I can. So you've got somebody that's really taken with you, watching you all the time. I'm addicted to the t attentions of others. This person's an attention getter. I love feeling wanted and needed. I don't feel whole without it. Ooh, this is a person who's had a weird upbringing. Maybe didn't get enough attention or got too much attention. Maybe they were spoiled. And all they want is attention. They're addicted to it. That means they have a big ego. It was time I went within to find myself again. I need to figure out what I want out of life. I need space. This person's confused. They're obsessed with you. but And they want your attention. Desperately, of course, because they're an attention getter. And maybe you're not giving the, atten the attention that they want from you, so they're obsessing over you. I want to give you the good life. I want to spoil you with gifts and trips, everything you could ever need or want. You deserve nothing less, Libra. So this person kind of holds you up on a pedestal. They feel they're, that you're good for their life. Feel that you would be good for their existence. I'm currently focusing on my career and finances. Mm. My main priority is financial stability, okay? So they're working on their bucks. This person may be going through some hardships, actually. I've got some allergies in my eyes today, so they're feeling kind of like fishy, kind of gummy. I'm having a hard time seeing my cards. Of course, I use all kinds of excuses for not wearing glasses. Could use some reading glasses, I guess, when I'm looking at these tiny words. I daydream about our future together. Going on adventures and growing old together. I want it all. Yeah, this person's dreaming about you. They're crazy about you. You deserve all the good things in this world. And right now, I'm not in a space to give you the type of connection you deserve. Live your life and let me go. Wow, so this person is like going to sacrifice you. Thinking about sacrificing you, but they're obsessed with you. They could be like on a seesaw, up and down, up and down. Because they daydream about you in the future. But it looks like they're ready to sacrifice their happiness. Why? Because they don't feel like they're good enough for you. That's what it, that's what it seems like. You are my soulmate. It must be written in the stars because you most definitely are my destiny. We do deserve to be together. Hmm. They think they deserve you. Well, okay. Let's carry on. I hope the future will bring us together. Yeah, that seems to be the message here. The passion I feel for you is overwhelming. I don't know how to handle this. Yeah, they're obsessed. Maybe they've never had a love or an emotion like this before. Don't forget about me. I haven't forgotten about you. Okay. Yeah, we know that. 
These are all just confirmation cards, aren't they? Please give me a second chance. You're my soulmate. Oh, this person's got it bad. Well, what caused this uh, disturbance between the two of you? What happened to uh, make this go wrong? Oh, jealousy, envy. Really? This person has a problem with jealousy. They believe you're the one, all right. Okay, that's just in their confirmation card. They could be breaking some old habits in order to come to, come to you. Yeah, maybe that's what they need time for. They need to do some work, some inner work. Yeah, but don't be surprised if you hear from this person that they play the victim. Maybe that's uh, how they do it. That's part of their modus operandi. They make trouble and they act like they're the victim. They're the one being victimized. They're the one being played by someone else or getting over by someone else. Hmm. I'm not a tramp, okay? This person wants you to know they're not a tramp. You may think they sleep around. They, they want to tell you they don't. Maybe they do and They don't feel like they're a tramp. Even though they might sleep around, they don't feel like they're a tramp. I don't know. They just want you to know they're not a tramp, okay? <sighs> yeah, they want you to wait a little longer. They want to keep you waiting. I don't know how long you've been waiting already, but... Yeah, because they want to come correct. They're breaking some old habits so that they can come to you in a more presentable manner. They're trying to figure it out. They're trying to level up to you or get on the same page. They want to come in so that you'll accept them. They hurt you. And what you want to know is, was it worth it to them? Why did they hurt you? What did they get out of it? Was it just from insecurities? And they ran away or something? Or... Did they actually, actually want to hurt you for some perverted or sick reason? I mean, you want to know if it was worth it to them. Yeah, you used your intuition on this person, and you thought, you figured out that they were cheating, that they were sleeping around. Your inter intuition told you that they were a tramp, or a bum, or Chigolo or whatever word you want to use. I don't want to get censored. YouTube's gotten pretty strict these days. Yeah, I used to be a lot more wilder in my readings, but I've had to calm them down. A lot of you might have noticed that. Well, that's because I, want, I don't want to get kicked off the air. Well, they know this relationship will be fun. And it would be. If they could come back correct, you know, this relationship would be fun. Yeah, they've had a revelation. They want to come back correct. They're working on themselves because they're after a fresh start. They're just checking you out. Right now, they're just checking you out, okay? They're obsessed and they're watching you. They're attention getter and they're freaking out because you're not giving them the attention that you used to. And maybe they're not getting all the attention they used to from other people either. They've decided they need to settle down, but that's just an idea. I don't know why they're, they're doing this other than they're obsessed with you. Yeah, this person's, uh, I think, coming to an end of a cycle. Or they see you as their everything. They want a fresh start. Yeah, they just, they've had a revelation. They want a fresh fresh start. If you're, you know, at the age to have children, they want it all with you. They want the family, kids, love, joy, 
bright future. They feel they deserve you. They think they've worked hard and paid their dues, and now it's time to be rewarded for everything they've put in. And it very well could be. But they see it with you. Yep, they want to send you a message. They could get in contact with you from right out of the blue. And it should be coming in quickly. Might surprise you. They could live at a distance. And it will be romantic. It's going to have a lot of romantic overtones because the Eight of Wands is, well, they're all wands. And that's, uh, that's romance, love and lust and all the, those kind of pleasures. They're working up the courage. Yeah, they know it's going to take some strength, fortitude, if they're going to heal, or they're going to try and heal here. And also, it looks like, in order to approach you. Yeah, well, because right now you're standing strong. You're, you're, you're standing in your strength. And I think you've conquered the, your demons and faced your tribulations, and you're feeling pretty good about yourself. Yeah, you're looking towards your future. Mm -hmm. You're wondering if you ought to give this couple love to this person if they come back or not. You're very generous, maybe too gullible, maybe too, too giving, and, you know, you're emotional. You're surrounded by emotions, but you're, but you're sitting on your throne. Yeah. You're a queen. You're in queen energy. Got a lot of love to give, so I think you're uh, you're willing to listen to this person. But I don't know yet. I know you're in contemplation. You want love in your life, but you want to give it to the make sure you give it to the right individual. Yeah. Until then, you got a lid on your cup. You're not going to let that cup of love just spill out on anybody. You got it a lid on it, and you're studying it. You're studying your emotions. You're studying your the way that you want to present yourself and move on in the world. You're working on yourself, or you have worked on yourself, to get into this Queen of Cups energy. Okay? This person could be receiving karma, karma and feeling like you're judging them, that you brought their karma, because Libra, you're the justice card. Yeah. You shocked this person. No wonder they're having a revelation. Whatever you brought into their life shocked them. Showed them a new light. You brought light into their life, and now they feel they feel like they're being judged by you. Yeah, playing the victim. Oh, Libra's judging me. I, I'm not that bad. Don't they understand that I have all these problems? That I have all these yaddy 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 excuses and alibis. Yeah, but you're, you're the justice card. And right now that justice card is in reverse. So they think you brought karma on them and that you're unfairly judging them. They want to contact you because they've been carrying a heavy burden. Yeah, they got it bad for you. Mm. Nothing but wands, 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 wands. Now I got the had the eight of wands. Now I got the ten of wands right on top of that. I mean, these cards have their own meanings, but when, when that many wands are together, I can tell that this person's obsessed with you. They want to drop this burden. They they want to just. Come in with this news, this letter, drop this burden, get it off their chest. They've been carrying something heavy on them that they want to reveal to you. They want to reveal it. They want to come in and reveal something. Something heavy, something important. Something about their sex, their, their lust, their passion. And they're just going to tell you that how much, what they really feel about you. And, you know, they want to tell you how they feel about you. 
because they're they're tired of uh, maybe not telling you. Maybe it's weighing on them that, that they really need to tell you how much they feel about you. Well, let's see. You've been in hermit mode. You may you probably had to get away from people for a while. Yeah, you had to dis rediscover yourself, figure some stuff out. Yeah, you were you know, connecting with the divine in order to them the divine to shine some light on the, what your problems were, so you could work out solutions. Yeah, like I say, you might have kind of alienated yourself or locked yourself away from other people a little bit. So that you could have this solitude to figure things out. And what you figured out was you had to start nurturing yourself. You've been giving your love out too generously. Yeah, you you might have just uh, nurtured this person and uh, made them feel really wonderful about themselves or made them feel that you were just a really giving uh, unconditional love person but now you're the empress in reverse so you got to give that love back to yourself you're still an empress but you figured some things out and while well, you're in hermit mode and or whatever and you realize that hey I'm not doing myself any good beating myself up over this. I got to change my energy and I got to start focusing on me. I need to, you know, put some love into myself. Maybe I need some exercise. Maybe maybe I need to, you know, uh, change some habits here. Get a makeover, get some new threads. Uh, you know, just start appreciating your own self-worth. Libra. That's what you're doing. You're taking a look at yourself and, and trying to, you know, heal yourself in a very positive manner so that you can get your Empress energy back again and be that outgoing, wonderful, nurturing person that you know you are. So you're a little out of whack, but you know it, you realized it, and you you figured it out. Yeah. This Queen of Cups is studying her love life, her romantic life and her emotions so that she can get back into her Empress energy. Yep. And she's figured it out. Tower in reverse. Whoa. This person's coming out of some shocking business. Yeah, their, uh, their world kind of crumbled around him there for a while, but I think they learned something from it. Yeah. <laughs> because that tower in reverse is right on top of the justice card in reverse. So, wow. You know, something happened in your relationship and you caused it. You brought their karma. But they learn through this process because it, this tower card's in reverse, so it's not quite as drastic as a full-on tower. It's it's a it's more of a slap in the face and a realization, like an epiphany, and they, that they learn from. Okay. Another now I got the ace of wands on top of a pile of wands. It goes from the eight to the ten to the ace. But this Ace of Wands is in reverse. So, when they do come in, it, it still might seem a little deceitful to you. They're going to be passionate. But you may feel that they're something, your intuition might be telling you there's something a little off in this message. Uh, this person is very passionate, very sexual. 
Could be lustful. You're not going to trust this uh, ace of wands that they're going to try and hand you. Yeah, you've already been in hermit mood, mode. You're trying to heal, or you are. You're healing, healing. You are healing, and you're almost there because you're putting all that love back into yourself. Aha! Uh -huh, yeah, you, you. When this person comes, you're going to tell them, "I can't do it right now. Wait." You're going to make them wait. Mm -hmm. You need to think about stuff. You need. You need to rest. You just need a break from this. You need a break from this kind of energy. So you're going to kind of give them the cold shoulder. Yeah, that's what it looks like here. They're going to hand you this cup of love, and you're just going to go, well, not right now. I, I'm resting. I need a break. <laughs> That's the Four of Cups in reverse, by the way. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't you just love that card. Luck is on your side. Yeah, you're the bringer of karma. Yeah. You brought karma. You brought your own justice to this relationship. Now the Wheel of Fortune is in your favor. You're going to be back in your emperor. If you're not in your empress energy right now you're going to be back there real soon because life is a uh, in your favor right rolling along for you mm -hmm. spirit wants to know that you've been doing everything right and your future is going to be abundant some of you may already know that your future is going to be abundant because you know that you're the Empress and you know you have all this love and you're being smarter with it. That's what the Queen of Cups is doing there. She's sitting there analyzing that cup, keeping the lid on it so that you'll learn from it and be smarter next time. I mean, that could be. This person has realized during their epiphany, their tower in reverse, that they really do want to invest with you. Yeah. They want to throw in with you. Go all in. But they might be a little... I don't know. This, this Ace of Wands uh, that they're trying to hand you might come with some conditions or be a little suspicious. So that's what you're feeling. You're very intuitive. Uh-huh. Okay. This is what you're thinking. Oh, my God. Another one. Now it's the king of wands. So I, just wands, 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 wands. Okay? This person is the king of wands. Very playful. Good-looking. Charming. Adventuresome. Outgoing. Good with the ladies. Good with the... You know, could be the... You know how this goes. Just because I say king of wands, it could be the queen of wands if you're a man. You just reverse the genders on, on all the cards. You know, readers get tired of saying that. We just we just take it for granted that you all know that. But I have to say it every once in a while that, you know, you've got to reverse the genders if you want to. If, if, if you're a divine masculine or feminine, you know, anyway. So... They're looking at this pile of seven of pentacles and they're looking to invest. They want to go all in, like I said. And they're, they're in good energy. But you're going to have to watch out for them because this king of wands is grasping a wand, right? Staring at you and uh, grasping onto this wand at the same time. So this person is very sexually passionate about you. There's no doubt about it. They want to come in, maybe love bomb you, sweep you off your feet. They want to drop a whole load of their emotions on you. Hope you're able to handle it. You're not going to really believe it. You're just going to, hmm, you're going to say, hmm, I got to wait. No, I got to rest on this. Okay. Because you, 
once saw them as a soulmate, maybe you still do, but you don't trust them. You, you, you see that they've damaged the relationship. Yeah. They damaged it. Might be repairable, but your future looks great. Yeah, and you're not you're not hanging around. You're not waiting for this person anymore. I think your intuition is telling you that they want a second chance with you. But you're ready to uh, you know, jump on this wheel of fortune and go for it. I mean you need to hit the casino. One arm bandit. You might make out. Yeah. Your luck is really running high right now. And this person, like I said, they want to throw it all in with you. They, they, want, they want to commit. They want a commitment because they're obsessed with you. But that scares you. I mean, it should. And you're waiting. And you, you're not. You've been waiting. You might just tell them that, you know, you need more time. But really, you've kind of made up your mind that you're moving on. But just to keep them hanging a little while, you might tell them that you need, or just to make it easy on yourself, so that you don't have a big fight or anything. You might be telling them, well, you know, we'll just wait and see what happens. When in actuality, you, you, you don't want to wait for this person anymore. They might have to just, you know, they got to hop too. No telling how long you've been waiting, but it looks like you've been waiting a long time. This person is getting angry. Yeah, they're angry. And you know, in the past, they were they were non-committal. In the past, they were deceitful, and mean, and cold-hearted. Maybe they still are. But how could they be in, in being the King of Wands energy? Oh, they were just really against committing to anyone in the past. Yeah, they were cold-hearted when it came to uh, commitments. They might have teased people along or got them so far and then, then just hurt them, started treating them real bad. Is that what they did to you, Libra? led you along and then just turned into a completely different person. Non-committal, lying, gossiping, all that kind of stuff, and, and shocked you. Because normally they're the king of wands. But you pissed them off. King of wands can be spoiled and vindictive if, if he's in the reverse position, but he's not. He wants to be good. This person wants to be good. They want to be healed. They don't want to be non-committal. They don't want to be mean and uh, spiteful and jealous and all this anymore. They're trying to heal and they know they have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. They're trying to work up their nerve. So that they can come towards you. They want to take a leap of faith towards you. They, for some reason, this person feels free in your energy. They, they, they think that if they can get back with you, that life will be magical. They'll, they'll feel free. They'll be able to release themselves in some manner. Release all this. Yeah, they want to change. They really wish they could. Can they? Who knows? You're acting very mysterious. There might be a couple of sides to your personality, too. They might, you might have only showed them one side of yourself. You know, the domestic, uh, calm, warm, gentle, lovable side of yourself. When in reality, you have another kind of wilder, more mysterious side. And, uh, you know, you have a lot of deep emotions, things that you haven't really revealed to this person. So you you could have, might have been just, you know, 
being very giving, very warm, very passionate towards this person, but still holding back, or they never really saw how you really could be, or how you could change and become somebody different. So that's very mystifying to them, you, how you changed on them. Showed them your other side, which shocked them. Yeah, why, when you brought this karma to them, gave them a tower. Probably bruised their ego, big time. Yeah, and uh, that threw you, this person threw you way out of balance. You waited for him, and the longer you waited for him, the more out of balance you got. The more messed up your energy became, the more confused you became. That's why you started healing. You needed to heal. And you had help with your guardian angels, your higher power. The divine was on your side and helped you heal, or is helping you heal if you're still in the progress. And it, it seems to me you're, you, most of you are still in the process of healing. Yeah, they don't want to be, they don't want to tip. They tell stories. They make up fantasies. Mm -hmm. and, and they may believe their own bullshit, but they bullshit people. Yeah, they, in, in, the, in their uh, Queen of Swords reverse energy, they're, they lie. They make up stuff. And they, you know, they were, they offered you their love in the past and they were insincere about it. Yeah. And it broke up the relationship because they didn't have the nerve to commit or take this thing all the way. So they self-sabotaged it. You're over here working on your money. You're trying to get your life in order. You're being a little selfish now. You know, trying to look out for yourself, putting yourself number one, putting yourself on the top of your priority list. Well, my camera just shut off on me again. Darn it. So I'm going to have to really get to work on that tonight. I got a couple cameras and they're both messing up on me and replacing them. little cards in them and stuff. But Oh, I'm hexed. No, I'll fix it. I'll figure it out. Anyway, looks like we got somebody new coming in. Yes, indeed. Either new this or this person comes back new. But according to your wheel of fortune over here, and uh, you trying to heal all up and everything, I don't think you really want to put yourself back into any vulnerable situations. <clears throat> the universe is asking you to be patient too, as well. They're watching over you. Let them handle it. <clears throat> mm, excuse me. Got all flustered when I found out my camera was screwing up. Got all choked up about it. <laughs> well, this person's starting to think that you might be better off without them. And you're probably thinking that too. Because the universe is getting ready to reward you with something special. This isn't over between us though. I will be coming back for you. Ooh. Is that a promise or a threat? Cupid's arrow. Mm -hmm. Somebody's coming in. And it'll be a surprise. Just have faith. Have a little hope. Yeah, like I said, patience. <clears throat> yeah, somebody out there likes you. Somebody might be flirting with you already. If not, they want to flirt with you. be the past person. No one makes me feel the way you do. 
You are the best I ever had. Oh, this is that past person. Person still in your energy. Well, let me see here. My poor eyes. Whoa, 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 yeah. Mm. So this past person's getting over a karmic relationship. Yeah. They, they keep getting triggered and being defensive towards you, or they were because they were involved with somebody. They were already in a situation. And that situation was in turmoil when you met them. They've, they've learned a lot of lessons, though, from you. Yeah, they sure have, if you were their karma. And, uh, you know, yeah, they're trying to let go of this karmic situation because they love you. They want to turn their, their attentions toward you. If I could go back in time, I'd handle this differently. Yeah, that's what they're saying. They just wish they could have a start over. They, knowing what they know now, they would have done the work on the relationship. Mm. Oh, yes, yes. You may have been dealing with, uh, or they were dealing with someone possibly with nar narcissistic tendencies. So their karmic may, might have really had them entrapped in something. Or this person themselves is a bit narcissistic. Yeah, if this past person doesn't appreciate your boundaries or, you know, call you at work when they know they're not supposed to or say stuff on your Facebook or whatever that is inappropriate or you feel is not right, well, that could be your person in your energy. Yeah, they need to do some healing. They, the one there's you 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 deliver karma to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was third party interference here. This person's an attention getter. Yeah, they go out and flirt around. They they fall easily to temptation, or they seek temptation. But yeah, they they use their um their looks and their charm and everything to seduce people. Male or female? I mean, sounds like a guy, but a lot of women go out there and use their feminine wiles to get their hooks in men. I don't know. I guess there's some adventure to it or something. Anyway, men and women are pretty much alike. Now, this person's hurting. They feel that you hurt them and they're they're in pain and they're being victimized. It wouldn't hurt just to have a sit down, maybe somewhere in public, you know, have a coffee or something. And just have a calm, you know, honest conversation. That's what this you really need. That's But I don't think you even care about that. Yeah, they just wish they could be a different person. They messed up. They went wrong. You know, they got some narcissistic tendencies or they hang out with narcissists or their karmics and narcissists, but they're involved with somebody else. They were involved with somebody when you met them. That's what it seems here. They're intertwined with this, this situation. And for some reason, they're, they're having a hard time breaking away as they're obsessing over you. They wish everything could be different because they blew it in the past with you. Might have been too lustful according to all these wands over here. 
They must really think you're sexy. There's a, well, Spirit's saying, it's time to release all negativity. Oh, my God. I'm going to take that card out of the deck. We get it every time, and it's moot to me because it's always time to release ne negativity in your life. Whenever you can uh, discover it, get a handle on it, yeah. move on or get past it, it's always time to release negativity. And a time for healing. This is definitely a time for healing. We know that. Spirit's just confirming it. Yeah, the universe is kind of testing your commitment to your spirituality right now. And you've been doing a pretty good job of it. I think you've been you know, filling all your checks, checks and boxes here. You're fortunate. I think you're feeling your good luck. If you're not, you will be soon. Somebody wants to come in for it with you. Yeah, there you go. A new romantic cycle begins. Okay, for those of you who are moving ahead, leave it in the hands of the divine and everything's going to work out just dandy. Like I say, go to the casino and <laughs> spend a little money. Maybe you'll get a bunch of money back. Your luck is running high. Well, guess that's about it for today. We'll check on this some more next time. Until then, I better get this camera fixed. Anyway, thanks for stopping by the old Swedes bungalow. Peace and love to you.